Hello my lovelies, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get this eye look, of course using the Maybelline's Blushed Nudes palette, of course, and this beautiful flawless face using my favorite Diner Airbrush makeup, so if you're interested, please keep watching. Even though Airbrush is my go-to, I could not resist the Maybelline's Blush Nudes palette, so I'm just going to take the first shade in the palette here and just apply it to the lid like so. Now I really want to go ahead and pack this on densely. I did use an Urban Decay Shadow Primer just to make sure everything sticks. Then I'm going to go ahead and dust it on the brow bone and then my tear duct as well. Then I'm going to be taking shade 7 and just going ahead and applying that to the transition crease area, making sure to start at the outer corner of the transition slash crease, making a V shape and then blending it all out through, through the transition. Next I'm going to be taking shade 8 which is a nice dark brown color and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the outer corner of my lid in a V shape of course and then I'm going to blend that all out. And once I have that nicely blended, I'm going to be taking shade 2 from the palette and packing that all over the lid. It is a beautiful shimmer color with lots and lots of pigment and glitter in it. I thought this would be perfect for the mid lid. Okay, so once I'm done packing that on the lid, I'm just going to go ahead and dust a bit on the brow bone. Take some to the inner corner of the lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and take shade 8 one more time and just apply that to the lower lash line just by smudging it with a really dense brush all the way through toward the outer V. And then to go ahead and just intensify it a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it into the base of the outter V and into the natural fold of my lid. Now on to airbrush makeup. So next I'm going to be concealing my under eye area using my favorite Kohler Extreme just because you know my dark circles have been kind of intense lately so I need that coverage. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply my contour and here I'm just using Nutmeg and applying that in the normal areas I would contour my face. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush shade and for this look I am using Blonde Rose just because I think it's a beautiful rosy hue. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation like I normally do, getting that beautiful flawless airbrush finish. Once I'm done applying my foundation, I'm just going to go ahead and airbrush my brows. And here I'm just using Dynair's Brow Stencil with a custom mixed brow shade. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my airliner. So here I'm just using Jet Black and my Cat Eye and Stencil. Once I'm done applying my airliner, I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara, which is Mary Kay's Lash Love Mascara. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply my Kiss Lashes. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face. Now here I'm just using Hug Me, which is a Kohler Opalescent Shade. Absolutely love it for highlighting. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. And this is the finished look. A beautiful romantic eye look on top of a flawless airbrushed face. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'm really loving this palette so I definitely recommend you guys give this a try. Oh and don't forget of course to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!